Now, like I said, the water is coming out extremely fast, so there's definitely going to be a lot of fish down there. So let's get the GoPro drop into the water and see what it captures. What's going on guys, it's Raymond here and today I'm back at the spillway where I'm gonna be dropping my GoPro down into the water to see what I can capture. Now this definitely isn't my first time dropping my GoPro down into a spillway and I do have some previous videos on my channel where I do this. But the spillway is one of my absolute favorite places to go to because there's always hundreds of fish under the surface. The most common of those being the short nosed gar but there's also some catfish, carp and a whole bunch of other different fish. Now I was just down there and the visibility looks pretty good today so I should be able to capture some good footage while my GoPro is under the surface. But I'm pretty excited to do this so if you guys are ready let's head on down and get the GoPro in the water. Well here it is right here. I got my GoPro Hero 10 quadruple knotted around. Um, you know this is my third time doing this and I've never lost the GoPro so knock on wood I don't lose it this time. And then I've got it attached to a hundred foot rope which is definitely plenty because we're only about 20 feet up. All right here we go. Time to drop it into the water. All right guys, now I just had my GoPro in the water for about a total of 20 to 25 minutes and I'm pretty sure I was able to capture some pretty good footage. But that is going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller and I'll see you on the next video.